News Radio 1270, you're on the air. Hey, morning. Yeah, it's Don, right? Yep, what's up? Yeah, howdy. I'm David. And, um, you know, it's the first time I heard your show. I'm, uh, I listen online. I'm out in California, so I'm listening on the stream for you. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hey, so, you know what I, I think about this whole gun issue? Um, you know what a one-trick pony is? Sure, sure. Yeah, in a rodeo, a one-trick pony doesn't do but one thing, right? So when it comes to protecting the Bill of Rights, you know, and you're talking Second Amendment, right? The First Amendment to me is the most important, and the Second Amendment is certainly there to reinforce it. But if you don't have your argument down early and right, it's going to fall to guns, right? And so when you have uh, the argument can never be made, and so everybody just gets more and more paranoid and buying more guns. And so to me, what's, what's going on in America today, why America's buying guns in such a frenzy is because of a uh, couple of things. The Klan want to secede again, and they're out there stocking, stockpiling, and don't think for a minute they wouldn't attack Washington and try to break away again and take everything with it. Hold, hold up. You mean like the, the Klan? You mean like the KKK Klan? Yeah. Okay. okay. And tied with the Nazis, you know, from World War II, because everybody knows those old boys are still around. And, uh, and then as well, you know, they're British, uh, you know, the old monarchy. Uh, those old boys never quit. They're the ones that keep pulling these financial scandals that ruin the country like subprime and the savings and loans and the, everything that, uh, you know, J.P. Morgan ever did uh, was toward the advantage of the British, weakening America, sapping us and giving, uh, giving our titles and deeds over to, uh, to some foreign entities. And look at, look at this lousy uh, ruling the Supreme Court did called Citizens United that says that now it's legal to give a bribe to a politician and that the bribe can be secret. It legally can be secret bribes to politicians would be legal. That's insane. You believe and, this and guy? And this passes for reality. So to me, I'm just going to let him go on. Argument down in the First Amendment. That's when it falls to guns. And I don't see a lot of uh, protection of just common sense values like protecting your your uh, own property. You know, we the people own this government. And the, the big lie that's going on right now is, is that we shouldn't pay taxes. You mean we shouldn't fix our own roof? We shouldn't fix our own sidewalks? We shouldn't fix our own universities and schools and sewer systems? Is anybody really saying you know, that? Who are these people that keep running for political office telling us that it's bad to pay taxes? Who is this guy? You know, I like paying taxes if I'm going to get a county hospital. I like paying taxes if I have an ambulance system and a fire department that works. And that, I, that when I turn on the tap in the morning, that I'll get good, clean water. And then when I flush the toilet, I know it's not going straight in the river. I don't mind paying taxes a bit if I get good quality stuff. And, and so there are a bunch of big lies that are going on around here. And gun control, to me, when I hear you just going on and on and on about, go, we got to have more guns. Why? Okay, well, I'll, I'll uh, and thanks for the call. I'll try to answer that for you. I, I don't think it's really, uh, I don't think it's really about more guns in itself. Uh, and you know, look, people, uh, people do panic sometimes and uh, buy up guns and ammo. And uh, I think a lot of that is mainly just to spite the people that are trying to take them. I, I think that's. What a lot of it comes down to. It comes down to spite sometimes. Um, now, there, there's one thing out of all that that uh, I, I did want to pick up on, uh, the, the relationship between the First and the Second Amendment. Um, here's, the, here's the thing. I mean, the, the First Amendment defends our right to defend the other, the other uh, enumerated rights we have in the Constitution. Uh, the Constitution doesn't give us those rights. We're born with those rights. All people in the entire world are born with those rights. We have those rights when we're born. That's what a natural right is. It's, it's something that can't be taken away. Uh, the Constitution, of course, prevents the government from uh, infringing upon those rights. 
Uh, the Second Amendment is there for one thing, and that's to uh, make sure that our First Amendment rights, our Second Amendment, or our Third Amendment rights. Um, of course, the you know, Third Amendment doesn't really uh, it doesn't really uh, mean a whole lot in the modern day and age. But there, it was there for a reason at the time. Our Fourth, Fifth, Sixth, Seventh, Eighth Amendment rights. All of those rights are defended by the same thing, and uh, this the Second Amendment is the is the muscle, so to speak, behind uh, all of those other. Uh, infringements, you know, per, per, uh, protections from infringements. Uh, don't have a whole lot of time, but we'll try one more call real quick. News Radio 1270, you're on the air. Uh, yeah, I think it should be a choice. It's a right. It's a right to have a choice of whether you want to have guns or not. They're not talking about we need to have more guns. We're just saying that uh, – we want to be able to have the right to choose whether we, how many guns we want to have. Exactly. Some people enjoy them. Yeah. They, they are and a lot of fun. Paying taxes, that guy can pay mine, too, if he wants. Well, and, and I think most people don't mind paying a reasonable amount of taxes. I mean, no. there, obviously there are people that don't believe in paying any kind of tax. But, no, uh, but what we yeah. get for it is uh, a bunch of politicians that are overpaid. Yeah, exactly. Well, not only that, but then you have, you know, all, all the wasteful spending. I mean, there there are ways to do it responsibly. I mean, you know, I was That's just right. going I was just going to let that guy have his say. They uh they know how to spend other people's money, but when it comes to their own, they don't want to they tighten their belt up. Oh, of course. Of course. Hey, hey, hey thanks a lot for the call. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's the thing. And uh we're we're supposed to have choice. Everything's about choice until it comes to uh, something that could prevent uh, the unlawful expansion of of government, and that that's what the Second Amendment is about. It's it's not about having a hundred guns, although you should be able to have a hundred guns if you want them. Somebody wants to collect them, or they like shooting, or uh, they think that there's going to be some reason why they would need a hundred guns. Um, if if something bad were to happen. I know we, we had a caller yesterday mention uh, that there are um, ISIS cells in every state. The, these things, I mean, that's what it's all about. That's what the Second Amendment's about. It's about uh, being able to defend yourself against any kind of threat. And uh, it, it, you know, it's, it's not about the number of guns. I think sometimes uh, the, the anti-gun people sometimes... Um, focus on that one too much. Or well, why do you need a such and such gun? Because it's my right to have it. News Radio 1270, 1067, KIML. You're listening to Don Carpenter on News Radio 1270 and 1067 FM, KIML. Chris Brintle. Chris Brintle. News Radio 1270 and 1067. KIML. Don Carpenter Shell. Uh, Chris Brintle joining us. I don't know. The, the phone lines are, are blowing up. You, know, you want to hang out and take a couple calls? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's let's do it. I didn't have any other sports stuff planned for this hour, so okay, uh, let's try this one. Okay, and uh, well, okay. Uh, 682-1270, 682-1270 is the number to call, uh, 307. I, I didn't even, you know, I, I never even really think about giving out the area code because I, you know, I don't really think about uh, people listening online, but apparently people are listening online. Uh, let's uh, let's give it a shot. News Radio 1270, you're on the air. Good morning, Don. Hey, what's up? Well, in response to that guy from California calling over here. Yeah, what's up? Well, anybody that's ever actually read the Constitution, if they happen to get lost in the Second Amendment, trying to turn it into something that um, that it never was, so that they can suit their own needs, desires, and purposes, they can refer back to the preamble to the Constitution, which uh, tells us that, it, you know, in such circumstances, we may need to overthrow and throw off 
our own government. Uh, then if they can't understand that, then they can refer to the Federalist Papers, which was also written mostly by the men who wrote the Constitution, which explain in exacting detail that what it's for is that the government does not have the right or the ability to tell everybody everything they can do and how to live and what to worship and all of that. The reason why we're allowed to own guns according to the Constitution is so that when they come to shackle us and put us on train cars because we don't agree with them to send us to the next concentration camp. And that's not paranoia. That's already happened multiple times. In the last 125 years, atheists have killed over 250 million people by mass suicide, whole entire families who've never done anything wrong. So anybody who's a city and wants the government to tell them, you know, what kind of underwear to wear and what insurance they have to have, and, you know, where they got to go and what they can eat and what they can't eat and all that kind of stuff, can move to one of those countries. Because I'll tell you this, son, um, I'm pretty upset. I'm a family guy. I'm a Christian. I work 14 hours a day, and I got two daughters, and uh, they're just beautiful. I love my family, and we're free, and I love that. And um, I, I'm getting kind of irritated, uh, to say the least. Every single politician, and I don't care who they are or even if I voted for them, that signed that Patriot Act essentially signed a piece of paper saying, we don't have to, to go by the Constitution anymore. The Constitution was written to limit the government, not to limit the people. It was to limit the power of the government to govern people. And they signed away that. They gave themselves um, a legal release, which it is illegal. Every one of them guys signed that Patriot Act or anything relating to that kind of stuff is, is, is guilty of treason and high crimes against the citizenry of this country. People better wake up and take a look at what's going on because they will uh, turn you into slaves. The, the cities are full of slaves. They don't even know they're slaves. They just obey and do everything that they're told. And you know what? That's not freedom. Barack Obama, in the, I think it was the first debate that he had against Hillary Clinton in one of the presidential debates. I was, you know, sitting in the living room playing with my kids and goofing off and playing guitar. And I remember he said something, and it just blew me away, and nobody caught it. He said, well, you know, when we tell everybody what to do, and I'm paraphrasing, and I forget the exact stuff, he said, that's not inhibiting people's freedom. That's enhancing their freedom. And everybody play oh, I'll tell you what, you can keep your enhanced freedom. I'll take the regular <laughs> old timey style freedom, which says I can go to church and sing, which says I can say a prayer wherever I'm at any time I get ready to, which says I can teach my children right from wrong, which says I can eat Big Macs if I want to and I don't I don't condone eating Big Macs, but I have had a couple. Uh, and it says that the government has no business in my house, in my home, violating me, commanding me around, telling me what I have to buy, which, by the way, that insurance we have to buy, all of those people we buy from, they're their close personal friends. And it ain't just the Democrat. And it's not just the liberals. The Republican Party has sold us out, and I'm sick of it. And you can tell Enzi and Barrasso and all them guys the same thing that I just said, and I hope everybody heard this. It's time for us to rise up out of this grave we've been living in and say this is our country, this is our land, and we will not be dictated over. Anyway, Don, you have a good day, sir. God bless you. Thank, thank you. Hey, look, look, and I have no idea who this guy that called was, but uh, um, that's that's the exact response I, I, I hope somebody would give. Um, yeah, they, 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 look, I mean, that's I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, I liked what he said yeah. about the Patriot Act because yeah. he's right. It's basically the Patriot Act means you don't have a Fourth Amendment. I mean, that, that's basically what it is. It yeah, nullifies but, the Fourth Amendment. Well, uh, and let, let's talk about this. Uh, I actually uh, um, saw um, uh, saw, and this is you know on online, so you have to you have to take everything with a uh, with a grain of salt. Uh, but uh, someone in one of the uh, one of the uh, gun Facebook groups that I follow, uh, he's a, a dealer. You know, he's a, a federal firearms licensee, 
And uh, he, he was trying to make the case that anybody that wants to buy guns privately and not from a dealer is either a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist or uh, a convicted felon. There's some reason why they don't want the government to have paperwork on them. Um, and and I, I saw this, and I understand the guy's trying to drum up business for himself because he's probably losing a lot of business these days. I mean, and, you know, most, most people that have federal firearms licenses uh, aren't big stores. They're just regular people. They, they you know, they want to help their, uh, help their fellow uh, gun owners have, have uh, you know, a, a way to defend themselves. But but I I thought about this and uh, when you go and ask permission from the government to exercise a right, nobody would nobody would think twice about shooting that down if it were any other right. If you had to have a permit to not be searched when you're you know when the police come to uh, or the FBI come to your house, uh, if you had to have a permit to uh, call a radio show and you know. Give a uh, give a monologue like the last guy that just called. Well, I mean, if you had a per- if you had to have a permit for all that stuff, uh, nobody would be able to do it. Exactly. You know my thoughts on on gun control. There shouldn't be any gun laws in this country because we're a free country. Yeah, yeah. The, the The laws should be focused on. They shouldn't have any papers on us. They shouldn't know what guns we own. Yeah. Yeah. That's insanity, and that's just a step towards taking our guns. Yeah. But what? But, but what do you think about the Ku Klux Klan, the Nazis, and the British royalty uh, taking over the country? <laughs> Well, I, that guy. I have no idea. I think Looney Tunes is how I would describe. You know, I I have I have no idea. I mean, I I I, I I've even lived in a place where there was supposedly Ku Klux Klan, but I never I never saw. Great anybody. call, the last caller, and I, yeah. uh, he mentioned Republicans have sold us out. We Republicans are not Republicans anymore. They they are not the Republicans that are good on foreign policy like they once were. They are not Republicans anymore. They're big spinners, and they want to go to war all the time. You, you would have, and they uh, stabbed us in the back. The real Republicans now, D- DC, are libertarians. You, you, uh, you would have worked on Goldwater's campaign if you. If, I, I would have. Yeah. News Radio twelve seventy. You're on the air. I just got two points. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> we do have a gun law in this country. It's called the Second Amendment. It was upheld by the Supreme Court in nineteen sixteen, where they specifically stated it's very clear that the purpose of it is that the citizens be able to have any gun that the military has so that there can be a militia called up. Amen. That's clear. Look it up. Now, second issue. If you want to know why I don't want the government to have a list of all the guns I have, look at history. Those who don't learn from it are condemned to be repeated by it. What did Germany do? They had a gun registration. Everybody walked down there, registered their guns. Six months later, they went door-to-door and collected those guns. Then they did it in Czechoslovakia. Then they did it in Austria. They'll do it over again, and we will do it here. When we went to Somalia and when we went to um, uh, Czechoslovakia, all we were doing was training our troops to collect firearms from the citizenry. Oh, well, we've Have already nice done day. it. Yeah, hey, hey, thanks a lot. Bye. Yeah, yeah, we, we've already done it. Hurricane Katrina. The National Guard went door-to-door and collected weapons. Yeah. It, it's already happened here. Uh, it just hasn't happened on a large scale, and I I think most of those people got their weapons back. But uh, still, I mean that's that's a very dangerous thing to get into. Um, and um, to to be clear, when you buy a gun at a gun shop, I mean you're not giving them a list of the guns you have. You're just get being on the list of gun owners. They don't need to know what guns you have. They don't need to know no. serial numbers. They just need to know that you bought a gun at some point. They know you'll probably have it at home. And they'll they'll come and uh, knock on it. That's not conspiracy. Uh, it's happened. It's happened in pretty much every other country in the world. Hey, you know what? And this is a whole. Look, just think about what the past couple of segments on your show. What's happened? You mentioned the Second Amendment. People rise. Yeah. That, that's something we're not going to put up with. And so, uh, in in reality, when you have a bunch of of big government freedom haters, whether they're politicians or pundits, coming out saying we need more gun laws. Or some of them just come out and say, hey, we need to take all your guns. In essence, that might be an okay thing because that's the one thing that will wake people out of their sleep a yeah. lot. Think about what just happened on your show the last couple of segments. Yeah. And we need to do something about it because well, they're taking our freedoms on a daily basis, not even just at the federal level, but at the state level, local yeah. level sometimes. Yeah. And I, I will say I got I got to thank the guy from California for kind of uh, sparking that. I mean, uh, 
you know, I might not agree with him, but that was it was a great. I'll I'll play it for you later. Marketplace it, of ideas. It was a it was a pretty, <laughs> pretty pretty damn good call. Okay, what do we have going on in sports for this hour? Well, we have a little uh, camel football. We also have some uh, other camel sports and national news. Okay, sounds good. We'll um, we'll see you tomorrow. News Radio twelve seventy one zero six seven KIML. The number one talk show in Northeast Wyoming. Don Carpenter. Don Carpenter. On News Radio 1270 and 1067 FM, KIML. ML.